My name is Sana Sayed. I'm a pediatric gastroenterologist, which means I'm a, a doctor of, for children and I focus on diseases of the gut. In Pakistan, especially in rural sin, the burden of malnutrition, specifically stunting, is immense. So one in two children is stunted. Stunted means um, you don't grow as well um, in terms of your ability to grow tall. And stunting has been uh, shown to be associated with um, uh, poor response to vaccines, to poor cognition, um, and then it's overall a, a marker that a child is not thriving well environment that you live in, so the lack of clean water, the lack of um, good sanitation, poor access to healthcare facilities can actually change your gut. So it changes your gut in that if you have these finger-like projections that are inside a normal healthy gut that allow nutrition and things to get absorbed, those finger-like projections get inflamed and irritated and don't allow nutrition to get absorbed as well. So it, it, it's really a condition of poverty, which is um, extremely compelling in an area that um, um, I have been focusing on along with a team of investigators. Our team is, our current project is led by Asad Ali. Um, and my role in it is to apply machine learning or artificial intelligence to understanding um, why um, the gut is looking the way it's looking and can you figure out uh, a quick way to diagnose it. Currently, what do we do? So if a child has environmental entropathy and we think we, they have that, um, you have to do a complicated invasive procedure called an endoscopy, which means you take a child, you put them to sleep. I or one of my gastroenterology colleagues, we pour, put a scope down their mouth when they're asleep. We take pieces of tissue and that tissue is then stained and looked at by, um, uh, by pathologists who then read these patterns and say, is there disease there or not? Um, our goal is to do this pattern recognition at the level of a computer using artificial intelligence and then correlate those changes with blood, urine and stool biomarkers. So in the future, you're in the field, you suspect that there's environmental entropathy, you're able to diagnose a child without having to do endoscopy and in an ideal case also give the right intervention that prevents this child from them having continued entropathy. Now, this work is obviously very fascinating. It's a passion of mine, but it's not done in isolation. So I work as part of a large team. I lead an engineering and medicine team. Um, uh, it's uh, co-led by my um, engineering mentor, Don Brown, who works at the University of Virginia. Um, I, my other mentors include Sean Moore, who's a pediatric gastroenterologist at UVA, and then Asad Ali, who's a pediatric infectious disease doctor here at Aga Khan University and who's the lead of our overall larger environmental entropathy work. As a pediatrician, what you want is children, regardless of which environment they grow in, to have the, the same set of opportunities, the same set of abilities to grow and live their lives to the maximum potential. Um, because children all over the world should have the same rights and the same um, opportunities. And that is the goal of our work.